Your dog has an ear infection. These are two new remedies to clean them and treat them. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Ear infections, they are so, so common in our dogs, and dogs like Pippi, our labs, they seem to get them often. If your dog has an ear infection, they're gonna be shaking their head, scratching, be hearing their ear flopping from side to side. When you lift up the ear flap, look inside the ear, it's gonna be red, inflamed, maybe sort of touch here on the outside part of the ear canal. And you're often gonna see this sort of black debris a bit of a sort of foul smell coming from the ear. Mm, it smells so good when you got an ear infection. If this is the case, what do you do? Step one, you've got to clean the ear. This is a really good option for cleaning. It's witch hazel with aloe vera. Witch hazel is an astringent, meaning it helps bind to fat. It's gonna help remove a bunch of that debris in the ear, which is what we're trying to do when we're cleaning the ear. Secondarily, it contains aloe. So it's a great natural anti-inflammatory. And that's what kind of what we're looking at at first. We're trying to get as much of that debris out, being gentle enough so we don't irritate the ear too much, but also, you know, soothe some of the inflammation after, which is what the aloe will do. So I would pour the witch hazel, non-edible witch hazel pipster into a bowl as we're doing here. There we go. You can also squirt it directly out of the bottle. I just like using a syringe to draw it up and that gives me a good way to squirt that into the ear, flushing it in, cleaning the ear well. So tilting her ear back, I would then just seat the syringe right here, the base of her ear, right into her ear canal. Give a good squirt, probably somewhere around 10 to 15 mils for a dog about pippy size. Fill that up, squirt that in. Rub the base of the ear really, really well. So like you can actually hear the ear squishing, you're hearing that fluid squish, move its way in through the ear canal. Pippi thinks the cotton swabs are edible. It's not Pippi. <laughs> then I would be just wiping out all that excess fluid and the debris with this cotton swab. You're gonna continue to do that until the ear comes out clean. You're gonna swab it, no more debris comes out. You might take five syringes to do it, but you wanna make sure the ear is as clean as possible, the debris's all gone. Then once it's clean, then you can actually treat the ear infection. Right, oh, pipter. So to treat the ear infection, I want you to use remedies that are antibacterial, antifungal. Most of the dog ear infections are caused by yeast. Then also are anti-inflammatory. We're gonna soothe some of that inflamed ear canal. And these two guys, they're great options. Apple cider vinegar, coconut oil. Two tablespoons of coconut oil. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Then I'm gently warming that up so the coconut is gonna melt and it, we can blend it in with the apple cider vinegar. So I'm pouring our concoction into a little bowl. Oily apple cider vinegar. I would draw some of that up into a 3cc syringe. Just a really good way to put the drops into the ear. You can do it in an easy controlled way. And let's show them how we do it, Pippi. I then tilt the ear flat back, dropping in uh, five to 10 drops right in here into the ear canal. And I'd be doing that twice a day for seven to 10 days. After you drop it in, then rub the base of the ear really well. You're gonna hear it squishing again as it works its way down the ear canal where the ear infection is present. There it is, Pippi. Look how easy that was to do. Wow. That's a great natural ear infection remedy because one, the apple cider vinegar, it is a proven antifungal. It gets most of the yeast infections, which was causing most of the dog ear infections. It's great for pseudomonas, really antibiotic resistant bacteria, increasingly common in more of our dog ear infections. And then you've got the coconut oil. It is great antibacterial, and it's also really soothing to some of those inflamed ears. Those two in combination are really good options. One which I would encourage you to try. You've tried other 
your infection remedies, nothing's working yet, I think this is a good option for you. Let me know how that turns out if you try those remedies. I'd love your feedback, love to see your comments. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets on the new ear infection remedies. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.